This is the demonstration video for the Sloan chart at 10 feet, which is an Ohio Department of Health approved distance visual acuity equipment for, kinder, for grades kindergarten through 12th grade. Uh, it comes with you know, your light box as well as your Sloan letter charts. It also comes with a symbol chart. So if you're using uh, the LEA symbols for kindergarten through first grade, you can use uh, this chart as well. The chart goes into the front. You plug in the light box and then plug it into the wall and switch on the light box. So this ensures e you know, even lighting. Then uh, the next step is you need to make sure that uh, the person you're screening is 10 feet from the light box. So you'll need a tape measure. We've already taken the liberty of measuring out 10 feet for our third grader, Laura, here. So you make sure that you have 10 feet away, and then you mark on the chair, put a piece of masking tape on the ground at the heel of the chair so you know that the subject's eyes are approximately 10 feet from the light box. The Sloan 10 foot comes with two types of occluders. Our animal occluders, which you're familiar with from uh, VIP testing and distance visual acuity. And uh, you get two pairs of these occluders, one that occludes the left eye to test the right eye, and one that occludes the right eye to test the left eye. The stems on the occluders do extend, because if the uh, person you're screening does wear glasses, we want to test them with their glasses on. But given that Laura is in third grade, we will use the Mardi Gras mask occluder, which is for 10-year-olds yeah, and older. So I'm gonna hand this over to Laura and she will occlude her left eye to test her right eye. So the first step will be to have the child practice naming letters just so they understand how the vision screening takes place. So what you want to do is start with the 2100 line and with the first letter on each line, ask the participant to name the letter. So Laura, can you name this letter? K, yeah. Z, H, R, O, Right. Now you'll want them to read the entire 2032 pass line. So we'll start here uh, on the right cone with this first letter. Laura, can you read this line for me? H N K O C. Right. Now Laura got two wrong here. So when they miss two on the 2032 pass line, ask them to read the entire line. K S N-H-O. Great. So Laura only missed two on that entire line. So she passed the right eye distance visual acuity for the Sloan 10 foot. So now you just take the Mardi Gras mask and turn it around so we can occlude the right eye to test the left eye. And we're going to go back to our same 2032 pass line. And we're going to ask Laura to read from the left cone starting with K S N H C. C. So Laura only got one wrong there, so she passes. So you don't have to have her read the rest of the 2032 line. So she passed its individual acuity for both the left and right eye. So good job, Laura. And as a reminder, uh, you're going to refer if it's 20 or 40 or worse in either eye. If Laura had gotten more than two wrong, you would then move up from the 2032 line uh, to the next, the 2040 line, and continue testing in successive lines until they only miss two or less. And that would be what their visual acuity score is. If they do not pass at 2032, and you have to go to another higher line, then they don't pass the visual acuity test and you would refer them. And you would go to Form H, um, for your vision school record for school age children and you would put an NP for not pass. They were able to get um, two misses or less on the 2032 line, they passed distance visual acuity and you would put a P on the form. Uh, if the child does not pass, uh, you are able to do a rescreening at your discretion. If you rescreen, you should, it, the rescreening should take place at least 24 hours after the initial screening, but no later than four to six weeks from that initial screening. But rescreening is at your discretion, and if rescreening is not something you want to do or is not feasible, then you should refer to an eye doctor for a full exam. Uh, also, be sure uh, as you're watching Laura to be observe you know signs of observation. 
Now you always want to be making sure is, is Laura sitting still? Is she leaning forward, squinting, turning her head, doing any kind of sign that would indicate that she has a vision problem? If you see any observable sign, that is caused to refer to a full, a full eye exam as well. So that is the distance visual acuity screening on the Sloan letters at 10 feet.